personally know any women who feel like they're most dynamic, beautiful, amazing, like I'm living my best life self when they look and feel frumpy. I'm sure they're out there. I'm sure there's a woman who can wear a garbage bag and she feels like the most stunning goddess that she is, um, but it's not me. And I don't, know any, I don't know anybody like that. But most of the time, if we look frumpy and we feel frumpy, we kind of shrink into the background. We don't feel good about ourselves. And you and I have every right to feel good about ourselves and feel beautiful and stunning and dynamic. No matter what our age is, no matter what we look like, we all are worthy of feeling that way. And so in this video, we're gonna address some things that might just, they look a little bit frumpy, they might make you feel frumpy, and we're gonna talk about how to fix them, what to wear instead, and some things you may need to just go and burn in your backyard, in the garbage can, light a fire. Neighbors might be curious what you're doing or they might come over and throw those things in there too. So let's get started. Now, if I show you an outfit or an item that you currently are rocking and you loving and you feel beautiful in, then please disregard whatever I say. There are some people who can wear some of these outfits and clothes that I show you and they look edgy and they just look stylish and they look amazing. And then there's a lot of people that will just look really frumpy. Something that might look super frumpy on me might look amazing on you and vice versa. Now, on the other hand, if I show you these things and whenever you wear them, you feel like an extra on Fraggle Rock, <laughs> it might be time to, again, go to your backyard, the fire that's burning and throw it in there and invest in yourself. An outfit that we can all be guilty of wearing. And I think you can actually easily make this look a lot better and not, not look frumpy anymore. So I have this sweater. It is so soft, so comfortable. It's oversized. Um, I will wear this if I just need that or I'm going to work at a coffee shop and it's gonna be cold. But let's say you have this sweater. It's kind of weird print. It's already a little bit overwhelming. And then you add some wide leg jeans or some baggy jeans. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some comfortable, chunky boots. Feel like I just, I, I'm not, I, I can look better than this. I can do better. And this looks pretty frumpy. I like the jeans and I like the boots. I just don't like all three of them together. We've got a whole shapeless outfit. Even doing a front tuck here, cause this sweater is super oversized and thick. You know, it looks okay. It looks like it looks a lot, a lot better, but I'm not super crazy about front tucking this. It's a little bit too oversized for that. What we can do here is swap out the jeans for a boot cut. Um, you could do a straight leg here, but a boot cut and then a slimmer boot. So we have the top half, we've got oversized, chunky, lots of things going on, big pattern. And then we've kept the bottom half slim, non-distressed. I think there's a little distressing on my hem, but it's not like I have rips through my knees or anything like that. And a slimmer boot. The slimmer boot also helps make this look a little bit more elevated and less frumpy. Now what I like, much better instead, if I was going somewhere and I was meeting up with people or I'm going out and about and I wasn't going to my coffee shop to work, which is where I will wear this sweater to, I would probably just take off my sweater and I would put I would put on something as a more neutral color. I also just want to say this sweater, the way it's just got this big geometric print also just kind of helps me look frumpy. I just feel like it's not the most flattering print in the whole world, which is why I chose it for this. But what I wanted to show you too is what I would wear and what I do think doesn't look frumpy with the wide leg jeans. I would pair the wide leg jeans with a more fitted or just more body skimming top. This is not like a fitted top. It's just, a, you know, it's obviously not super baggy and oversized, but it kind of balances out the jeans. I have it tucked in. A front tuck would do well here too, and a slimmer boot. So the slim boot and the more slim fit top balances out the wider leg, and I feel like this looks balanced. I wanted to pause really quickly and show you a few pieces from Uniqlo in their new fall collection. They have cashmere and they have very affordable cashmere. They have some beautiful pieces, a lot that really would fill those buckets of needing basics and classics in your wardrobe. Uniqlo has a lot of them. So I love these long sleeve knit cashmere tops from Uniqlo. These are super lightweight. They're very soft. For some reason, the ivory one is like extra soft. I don't quite understand that, but, <laughs> but anyway, these are very soft, very cozy. And I love these because they can, they look great worn by themselves with a pair of jeans or a pair of pants or trousers, but they also look great underneath something like a leather jacket or a blazer. This blazer is also from Uniqlo. They have blazers now. They have a really great fall collection. I'm really impressed. It looks great under this blazer and they have this really beautiful black coat. I've been looking for a long black coat, but I love these shirts as layering pieces under any of these jackets, or you could, you know, if you live in a very cold climate, you could layer this under another sweater. 
These are merino wool. For some reason I can't wear wool, but I can wear merino wool and it feels very soft. This is very like a cozy, just like uh, body skimming top. I love the v-neck. You can wear this over something, under something. This is just a cute little, also merino wool top. Super soft, super comfortable. I love it as a layering piece underneath something and I love the sleeve length as well. I would definitely call this an elevated basic because it is basic but it looks very chic and sophisticated. Then this is also merino wool, <laughs> also soft, and is a mock neck. I have more to say about these later in the video but you can either keep the neck up, roll it down a little bit, and it does have a him to where you don't have to do a front tuck or anything. It looks like it could be left out and it would look just fine. I have it here in an oatmeal and this ivory color and then I also have it in a classic stripe. This is the top that I'm wearing in the video. I just, I love these little tops. I just feel like they're so easy and they're so cute. I love the v-neck with the buttons. I mean, this has just really been my go-to style lately and I feel like it's just a good basic to have on hand. I have it in the red in a size small and then I got it in a medium in the ivory because often I like for things that are ivory or white to do, be just a little bit more loose fit and I love the way this fits. I will link everything I'm wearing from Uniqlo in the description box below and let's continue. Here's an item that I think all of us at some point have had in our closet and you might still have it in there and they're not the most current thing but they're, they're not terrible and on some people they look okay and some people they look really, really bad and it's a cowl neck sweater. With cowl neck sweaters, you've got a lot of fabric going on right in this region and if you are very busty or you're heavier on the top, it can often just add bulk and just look kind of frumpy. And honestly, not on everybody. If you have a cowl neck sweater, you can probably determine yourself by looking in the mirror if it makes you look like, you know, the abominable snowman or if it's flattering or not. It really depends on the person and your body type, but a lot of people, these can look very unflattering and too much fabric going on up here. A cowl neck in like a silk or, um, you know, a really lightweight cashmere or something can look really beautiful. But whenever it's in a very thick sweater type fabric, it just adds extra bulk that I don't think any of us want. So instead of the cow neck, I would go for either a mock neck or even a turtleneck if you don't like it being so tight to your neck. There are so many out there that are a little bit looser around your neck. They don't make you feel claustrophobic. Like this one right here that I found online currently for sale. It looks beautiful on that model, but there's a lot of people where that would just be too much fabric and it wouldn't look the way that you want it to. By the way, I am putting X's on the screen, but again, this doesn't mean that it's like, oh, it's all bad. Like you have to assess for yourself if this looks frumpy on you or not. I love this one I found from Banana Republic. I just think it's so beautiful. It has, and it has more of a mock neck and I just feel like this looks more chic and classic and put together. When it comes to our outfits, how we can make them look less frumpy, a lot of times it's a matter of balancing the more unstructured pieces, more relaxed pieces, oversized with more structured pieces. If you have everything relaxed and oversized and fabric everywhere it just it can kind of look frumpy so the easy solution is just to balance those out with more structured pieces so now one outfit that i know that a lot of us wear during the winter is going to be a knit long sleeve top and jeans and just having it hang over your pants can sometimes not it just doesn't look the most flattering i'm not even going to say frumpy but it's just not as flattering as it could be and i always recommend to do just a little front tuck and I think that looks really great. It looks more stylish, it gives you more shape. I do have an amendment to this, okay? Um, which I'm gonna say, tell you in a second, but I just wanna say real quick, and I've said this in other videos, we all have a stomach and a butt, and it just, I mean, most, most all of us do not look like a supermodel. <laughs> Most every one of us on this earth do not look like a supermodel. So if you're gonna do a front tuck and oh my gosh, people can actually tell that you have a belly, um, it's not the end of the world and uh, honestly, it still looks better than hiding under all this shapeless clothing. Anyway, so my amendment to this um, situation where people do not like to do the front tuck is get a sweater, get a top that has some sort of defined edge that looks like it's meant to be left untucked. So I specifically chose these sweaters they, um, from Uniqlo because they have this and I know that a lot of people just 
they, this is what they want to do. And so I like these sweaters because you can leave them untucked, you can leave them out, and it looks like it's intentional. It looks like you, it is meant to be left out. Now what I would do with this is if you are going to leave a sweater or a knit top or something untucked, then I would make sure that the other pieces of your outfit, your pants and your shoes are leveled up. They're elevated somehow. You're not doing ripped jeans at all. Um, you're not doing chunky boots. I would do something like a non-distressed straight leg denim and some slim boots or even a pointy toe. I love a pointy toe here. I feel like that immediately looks super elevated and not frumpy at all. I know I talk about Vivea all the time when it comes to pointy toe, but these flats that I have, I've literally walked miles in them. I have a bunion. My feet are all ruined like everybody else's and these are amazing. So I feel like this outfit, you're hiding your belly, which is what you wanted, but you still look up to date and current and it's a cute outfit. Now when it comes to talking about what looks frumpy, a lot of times we talk about shoes because the shoes, the, the ones that feel really great but look really terrible can just make your outfit look pretty frumpy. So you got shoes like these that, you know, super comfortable and I'm sure they feel amazing but they just, they just, they just look kind of frumpy. I would put it on your radar to find shoes that are comfortable but don't look frumpy. They're out there, you just have to look for them, you have to do some research, go shopping. Even something like this, I feel I have a feeling it's still gonna be very comfortable. But it's not gonna make your outfit look frumpy. Or even the like Adidas Samba shoes, I love those shoes. And they're a sneaker, they're a tennis shoe, but they still look very elevated and put together and, and current and, and they definitely don't look frumpy. And they, here is one that you're gonna have a hard time convincing me that they don't need to go into your backyard um, dumpster fire <laughs> that we're creating to get rid of. Cause I just, there's, I've never met a situation where I felt like this looked the best. Okay. And it's the three quarter, three fourth sleeve tops. The ones that stop right there on the largest part of your forearm and they just stop there. I've never owned one of these as far as I can remember Maybe I blacked it out, but it's because a lot of these are in a woven fabric. And so they stop right here and they usually have like a little button and they're so annoying to put on because you're putting your hand through and then it just stops. And then if you raise up your arms, like the whole shirt comes up, you're flashing everybody. I also don't understand the point because if you have a longer sleeve and you need to, like I love pushing my sleeves up. It looks, you know, effortless and relaxed and more like je ne sais quoi, but having them actually stop there, it looks like an unfinished shirt. Plus if you actually get cold, you can't just pull them down like this. Um, and if you get hot, you can't even really push them up. So it just, they just don't understand them. Someone explain them to me. Now, let me, there's one caveat, cause I know there's somebody that probably has this kind of shirt and um, there, and I don't want anyone to be confused and I would never want you to throw anything away that you love, okay? But in the summertime, I, there are a lot of cotton tops that usually the sleeve stops around here, but they're kind of meant to be pushed up a little bit. And so you, you end up with a sleeve that's kind of like, this, those are fine. I don't see anything wrong with those. I'm mainly talking about the ones, they're often in a woven fabric, like a stiffer fabric, and they just stop here and maybe have like a little button. Hopefully that makes more sense. But those, I just, I feel like they need to go. Instead, I would get a button down, I would roll the sleeves up to where you want them to. You could get a knit top like this. You can push them up a little bit if you need to. Light that fire, girl. Go light it, go get it started, okay? It's gonna take a while to get the, get it burning really good and uh, I'm, I'm not, don't actually do this, okay? I don't want somebody to write me and be like, Anna, I started a fire in my backyard and I got arrested for something. I don't know what, we burned the whole neighborhood down. I'm kidding, it's all metaphorically speaking. So I mentioned in this video here how I love these sleeveless sweater tops. I live in Florida and so I love something where I can put throw a jacket over it to go outside, but once I'm inside, I'm gonna want to take it off and I'm I know I'm gonna get hot if the heat's on and everything. So these are perfect. These are just so perfect for me. And for some reason, I thought this poncho style top that's kind of similar but not on Amazon would be a great addition to my wardrobe. So I bought it and I just look like a big old frump. Just, it's just not the best look for me. It just, there's other things I have I think that look a lot better. So I was analyzing this, like why does it look so frumpy? <laughs> and I think the main thing is that it's a thick fabric. It's like a sweater, sweatery fabric. It's got a lot of fabric. It's shapeless, it's oversized. And so even pairing it with some slimmer jeans, I just feel like I'm very heavy up. I just don't like this look on me. And if I don't like the way I look, 
I'm not gonna wear it. So I'm gonna wear something that I like. And so you may be like, that looks great, but I don't really like it. And it's all about how you feel in your clothes. So that's obviously going back. But what I would suggest instead is if you are doing these like loose fit, kind of more shapeless, oversized tops, try to find them in a thinner fabric, not thin and cheap, but something that can skim over your body rather than just add extra bulk because that often can make us look frumpy. Another top that I see a lot of women wearing and still wear, and I know the reason why and I get it, but it's these long, shapeless, very cheaply made, most likely 100% polyester. They probably have some kind of dated floral on them and it's combined with lace, kind of like this one. I found an example. And it hangs over and it's meant to be left untucked, but it just, it looks dated and Pink, looking frumpy sometimes also means looking a little bit like dowdy, like out of style. And um, and it just, it's not doing anybody any favors. It's really, it's, it's just not. I don't like these at all. Most likely you can tell the fabric is like a little bit cheap, but after you wash it a few times, they just don't hold up. I feel like they're kind of a waste of money. Now, instead of this, now I still like, still like front tuck, but instead of this, even just a button down, worn, loose, hanging over your jeans, not tucked in, no front tuck or anything, looks worlds better than this does. And with a button down, you have this structured element to it. You can you know, roll up your sleeves if you want. Um, and what I would suggest here is, again, staying away from something super unstructured, relaxed, um, casual. Since you're gonna leave your shirt untucked, I would stay away from like ripped jeans. I would stay away from something super wide or baggy. And I would do a straight leg denim and some slim boots or a pointy toe. Again, you could do your skinny jeans, not jeggings. I just, jeggings are another thing to go throw in your, um, your fire that's outside in your backyard that the whole neighborhood's gonna join in. <laughs> throw those jeggings away. They're, they don't look flattering on anybody. But skinny jeans, skinny jeans are great. Add those to it, add a current looking boot, and it's gonna look a lot less frumpy and a lot more current than this guy over here. I can always count on Amazon for some really, really outdated stuff, and it hurts my heart whenever I see it's saying like top seller or hot style or something because I know that a lot of people have bought it and they think, oh, a lot of people like this, other people like this. I'm like, no, please, please, please don't buy it. <laughs> It's not that dramatic. Um, by the way, don't go actually start a fire in your backyard unless you live way far out in the woods and that's a normal thing for you and you don't have neighbors. We live like, my neighbor is three inches away. We could like wave to each other or eating breakfast. So we would, um, they would call the cops on us if we did that. But anyway, I'm not actually saying to do that. And because I know, I, I just, I know, I know, I know my comment section. Someone's gonna be like, no, don't ever get rid of anything, like donate and everything. Yes. Yes, if it is still in good condition and it's not falling apart, you can definitely donate these things. And I actually recommend, instead of going to a retail spot like Goodwill and donating it, I would find a place in your area where they help young girls get into the workplace, teach them how to interview, teach them how to like fill out resumes and stuff like that. They're often looking for clothes that would be appropriate to wear to work for younger girls. And a woven three-quarter sleeve top like this is gonna look amazing on some girl that's going to try to get a job. They're most likely not concerned if this girl is in style or not. They just want her to look presentable and professional. So um, I would do that. Woo, I'm talking a lot in this video. I'm gonna have to edit some stuff out. I don't know when I'm gonna edit out though. I got a lot to say, I guess. Okay, let's continue. This next one is one that I see a lot more in the summertime, but I wanted to mention it in this video because I do still see some tops for sale that have this and I don't really understand the purpose. And what it is are these tops with loose, very baggy necklines. I don't understand that. Is it trying to be a cowl neck, but it's not? You know, I just, I don't get it and, and I don't think it helps anyone look less frumpy. I just, I don't know what the purpose is. I guess it's decorative, but I don't think it looks that great on most people. I don't think it's very flattering. Instead, I would just go for a top with a crew neck or a V neck or a boat neck. Um, there's you know lots of other options that have a defined neckline that look more structured and will look more pulled together. But this sloppy neck, I, I just with all the fabric, I don't I don't get it. It doesn't. I don't feel like it looks very good on most people. Okay, so I hope that gave you some ideas on how to rework your outfit. 
um, you know, what pieces maybe aren't working for you anymore to help you look less frumpy and more elevated and just feel good about what you're wearing. I think sometimes with us women, we feel like we need to put everybody else's happiness before our own and we just throw on the clothes to get the thing done and we just run around and then we're like, oh, and then we just don't feel beautiful. We don't feel sexy or we just feel very frumpy. So I think it's important to put focus on yourself and how you feel and how you feel in your clothes. You will show up better in every other aspect of your life if you feel good in how you're showing up to the world. So I hope some of these tips were helpful and you got some ideas, some new ideas. Again, don't actually go start a bonfire in your backyard unless you're able to do that. Um, I just, yeah, anyway, use those other options <laughs> too. Uh, but thank you for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't and consider subscribing if you are new here. I do have a video on out of style items for the fall. You can watch next if you want to see more things not to wear and, and for fun i have a video on trends fall fashion trends i will personally not be wearing this fall if you want to check that out it's right here anyway give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or thumbs down if you didn't and consider subscribing if you're new here and i will see you next time